Hey guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a fashion haul. It's been such, such a long time. You don't understand how much I miss making fashion hauls and many of you guys have been requesting it. So today I decided to share some of my recent winter items as well as my vacation items. I only have a few warm items because it's a last minute trip, but I hope you enjoy. As always, everything's going to be listed down below for you guys. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so I think I'm going to start with Express because I've recently been really, really loving them. This one is a fluffy sweater. It's like a lavender light purple color and it has some wide sleeves. I don't think I'm going to be trying everything on, but I'll be posting pictures so you guys will get a reference of what it looks like. But this one is just super soft and fluffy. So I finally have a different coat. If you guys have been following me for some time, I've been hooked on this black coat that it's like Mikey Tipong. I wear it every single day in the winter, but I decided to get this white one from Express and it fits so nice. I absolutely love it. It seems to be pretty... Jesus. Seems to be pretty warm as well. I love, 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 love the fact that the sleeves are pretty long and it kind of stinches in the waist with this belt. Has a little hood with fur, full fur, and yeah, is a white coat. Is it a good idea? Maybe not. Maybe not, especially in the winter time. Uh, by the way, it's in a size extra small. I also got some shoes from Express. These I actually ordered in December and they got here extremely late, so... I was planning on wearing these for Christmas because they are really glittery and out there. But I actually really like these. I feel like it adds a nice touch. You could definitely dress up an outfit with these. And the heel is pretty interesting. It's like thin but wide. You know what I mean? I also got some flat long boots. These are a little dirty because I've definitely worn them a lot. They're thigh-high boots, grayish tone. They fit me nice up here, but only with jeans because if I wear it without jeans, it'll definitely slide down. Story of my life. But they're really comfortable, and by the way, they're suede. Not really the best idea for winter. That's besides the point. Last but not least from Express has to be this bag that I am obsessed with. I've actually worn it way too much. I showed you guys a picture on Instagram. It's a small bag. It's pretty structured. has this little uh, string thing. I, I'm always like losing my mind and not knowing the proper terms, but you guys know what I mean. Inside though, you could fit your whole entire life, which I'm all about always and unfortunately it just makes me carry unnecessary things all the time. Moving on to Shein, starting with this black blazer that I've been wearing it way too much recently. I think it's a size extra small. It's pretty long or mid-length. It goes below your bum bone, which I actually really like. And you could definitely dress up or dress down an outfit with this. Now, this is one of my favorite items from this haul. I've been looking for a faux coat for like this you know because it's been pretty in and popular and i haven't found one that i liked or the perfect length and this one to me is a perfect length also the pattern is pretty cool as well it's blue black white and like a peachy color the only thing with these like faux fur coats i really wish it was like that inside like why why can we just make it work it's probably more money it makes sense but it would be a dream come true aside from that I like it. I think it's super fashionable and chic. If I was here for fashion week, I would totally wear this, but I'm not because I'm going to be on vacation. And this one, it's also a fluffy one. I wore it for my monthly favorite. It definitely screams, I'm so fluffy, I'm gonna die, because it really is. Like, it makes you want to hug someone wearing this. It has a hood. It's a pretty good length as well. And what I don't like about it, like I mentioned, is the pink inside. Like, why can this all just be brown? And then on top of that, it's like an ugly pink, man. I don't, I don't like pink, all right? Then I got a little kimono or, yeah, I think it's a kimono, right? I thought I was going to be able to rock this and make it work, but honestly, I wore it and it looks like, it looks like a robe, but not in a good way. It looks like you didn't find anything else to wear. I hope I could definitely make this work before the winter ends. Uh, it has this pretty, like, flea or teddy bear material belt. Now, quick story. I recently stole my best friend's jean jacket because she has the perfect length jean jacket. I like them to be long. Like, I like them to go below the behind area and look really baggy and stuff. And she got a size medium from a local store around her house. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. They stopped selling it. And then I found this one and she in and holy cow, am I obsessed with First of all, this is such an amazing jean quality. Love the pearl detail here and just everything about it. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to wear this. I think for the springtime it's going to be nice. 
the winter time as well. You guys know I don't really give a ding on some time. I got a few sweaters, of course. This one is a turtleneck sweater, a teal. Not That's not teal. What color is this? Mint mint color i'll be going colorblind sometimes just kidding but i don't know this color on my skin looks really nice to me and it's a really nice quality as well it's super fluffy and soft and i like it i don't really know what to say about things like this you know got a white sweater i don't know for some reason i get scared getting white items i like wearing white but you're risking it all girl this one is just a regular sweater regular length I definitely love the side detail that it has on the sleeve because it's like a gray crisscross kind of deal. Then I got another pearl detail sweater. I for some reason really love the pearl trend that's been going on. I have a few sweaters like this. This one is really, really nice fit. Like I like the fit of this. Let me see what size I got. Oh my god. Finding the size and she and things is so stressful. Cause it's nowhere to be found you know what forget it it doesn't say it i'll try to search it for you guys i'll list them below but it's a burgundy kind of not really it's a lighter burgundy with pearls and it fits nice it comes in different colors which i maybe I, I shouldn't buy another one i was going to but i have a gray one like this as well now this sweater i got a bunch of questions of where it was from and it's from Shein. I'll link it down below for you guys, of course. It says New York on the sides. It's just a crop sweater, hoodie kind of deal. I got it in a size extra small, if you were wondering. And it still has a baggy feel to it. Not extremely baggy, but it's not extremely tight like an extra small would be. Then I got a black dress. I love wearing black. I feel like you cannot have enough black clothes. The reason why this one is not in the hanger is because it's actually dirty. And I just have it here to show it to you guys. I love this dress. I really like the fit of it. Love the detail that it has here on the top. It has like a little crisscross kind of deal. I'm going to post a picture because I did wear it recently. This one I got in a size extra small. They have different colors in this. I'm definitely getting it because I love it. I then got this flowy dressy shirt. I feel like you could definitely dress this up and down if you want. Some jeans or a skirt with a high-waisted skirt that I'm going to show you next. I feel like it would look super cute. I love the color, the material, and the sleeve detail is pretty cool as well. It cinches right here and then it ties right over here. I'm going to post pictures like I mentioned. The skirt that I was talking about that I feel like it would look really nice with that and shirt is this one has to be also one of my favorite purchases because the fit of this skirt bomb.com holy cow i got it in a size extra small and it fits like a dream i love it it's a little it's a little short it's a little short but you could definitely make it work if you're shorter than me i feel like it would look even better but for a tall girl can be some somewhat of a short skirt it has a zipper here and inside actually comes with shorts good idea i see what you did there am i going too fast last item from shein well clothing item it's this two-piece set that i thought was going to be a favorite of mine but it's not unfortunately so the top is just a regular crop top it's a gray set by the way and then the pants are supposed to be bell bottoms or like extremely long bell bottom pants doesn't really fit like that for a tall girl like me doesn't it doesn't even fit me long without heels I don't know how I'm going to make this work or if I even am going to make it work. I don't know. But you win some or you lose some in Shein and this one is definitely one of them. Moving on with purses and shoes from Shein. I actually really like the purses from Shein. They seem to be pretty good quality and long lasting at least for the ones that I already have. This one has to be one of my favorites. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I love the color. It does come in different colors as well. It has a long strap and it's pretty spacious inside. We already know how I feel about that, so I like it. This one, I also really like. The quality is not the best. The other one, it's a lot better of a quality. This one, you can see that it looks a little bit more of a cheap material, but it's still like pretty black, white, gold, red. We see the colors, Natalie. I then got some shoes from Shein. Let's see what these are. Oh, I low-key regret getting these because I don't wear sneakers like that, and you guys know that, so... I don't know if I'm actually going to wear this, but they're cute. They're really casual, comfy sneakers, gray, kind of like slip-on sneakers with white. And then these, I can't wait to wear their thigh-high boots. I'm all about thigh-high boots. I honestly have way too many, but you can never have enough. The material of this one is pretty cool because it's a thick kind of suede material. 
and it singes right on the top. It fits nice. It also has a chunky short heel, which I like. For she and shoes though, I do have to mention that the shoes, especially boots, run really small. So I did have to get that one in a size eight and a half, I think. Now onto my vacation clothes. Like I mentioned, it's a really last minute trip, so I didn't have time to buy anything. Plus, I'm not staying for too long. Well, actually, I'm, I'm staying for a week and a half. That's a, that's a long time. But I got a few items from Boohoo, starting with this little two-piece set that I love. For some reason, the pattern in all this is definitely print and floral. So that's that. They all look kind of sort of the same. I do that sometimes. This one, though, ties right here. It's kind of like a short kimono in a way, at least that's how I see it. I think I'm going to be wearing it open with a crop top inside or like a little cami inside. Since the shorts do go high waisted, I feel like with a cami tucked inside and the little kimono, it will look really nice put together. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I style it. And I got it in a size two, if you're wondering. Then I got another two piece set. This one I think is a cover up for your bathing suit. I'm not sure. But the top looks like that. I really, really like the top. The top came in the right size because the shorts or pants, the skirt actually came in the wrong size. But this one, I got it in a size small. Again, really similar. I don't know what I was thinking. But the skirt, I'm a little disappointed because I can't exchange this. And it came in a size medium, which I wonder why. If it's a two-piece set, therefore they were together. So why are the bottoms medium? I think I'm just going to stinch it myself there because I do like them together. And it also has a little slit on the leg area. Can't even see it too well. But if you want to see it styled, definitely follow me on Instagram. I then got this really flowy yellow shirt, like extremely flowy. Love the butterfly sleeves that it has. I'm going to show you guys a little picture here so you can see exactly what it looks like. I love the fact that it was styled with shorts because I think that's exactly how I'm going to wear it with some like maybe gladiator shoes. And it does come with this string or belt that you tie around your waist to cinch it. Then I got a two-piece bathing suit again, the floral pattern. It's a thing. The top, it's a triangle top and I got it in a size two. It fits really nice. The bottoms fit me a little bit big, but not like, oh my gosh, super big. These are extremely high-waisted though. That I could say. They are pretty high-waisted from what I'm used to. I don't usually wear high-waisted bottoms, but I decided to be adventurous and see how it goes. So hopefully I wear it. And then very last but not least from Boohoo, I got some gladiator sandals because they are a must for my vacation and it's winter time and there's none that I could just casually buy. That's what it looks like. The top area right here though fits me a little loose but that's because I have skinny ankles. All right, that was actually pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick fashion haul. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of them because I definitely miss making fashion hauls. If you want to follow me during my vacation or see how I style these items, definitely do so on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Like throw on, no, how do you call that? How do you call that thing that you wear over your bathing suit? Cover up. Cover up. Obviously, I didn't. For my vacation clothes. <laughs> Alright. Okay, wow. Let's do this. Quiero decirte esta es la canción, baby. Tú tienes algo que me atrapó esta noche de parra. But I like it. Pero voy a robarte un beso que te recuerde este momento parando el tiempo. Okay, we're done. I don't usually make the best decisions. We know that. They are pretty comfortable and great. You know what I'm a chicken fry. And go beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio works.